And from here, we're off to explore what's known as Spain's Golden City. The history of the city of Salamanca goes back over 2,000 years and is a roll call of muscle men, militia, magnificent minds. This is where the great thinkers allowed great thoughts to collide, where the great philosophers and scientists of the age butted up against rigid Christian thinking. This was and is a great city of learning, home to one of the oldest universities in the world. And wherever there's a university, there's always a great contemporary vibe. The fabulous thing about Salamanca is, though, that that young energy is wrapped up in some very fine, very swank architecture. Do you um, realise how beautiful this is? Do yes. You, do, or do you just take it in your stride? I really see, I, I feel it's really beautiful, this city, and, and I feel it. I, I'm not, uh, I don't get tired of seeing the Roman, uh, the Roman Bridge, this beautiful landscape, the Plaza Mayor, so I really, I don't get bored, even that I walk it every day. Mm. I love it. love it. From the outset, this city is something special. The Roman bridge sets the scene nicely. Formerly the main entrance to the city, it was built as part of the silver route that connected Salamanca to the cities of Seville and Lyon. Uh, this bridge it was constructed in the first century. <laughs> By with the, the Romans. Romans. Yeah, because in that time Spain was under the Roman power. Every Spanish city has its own Plaza Mayor, which translates as main square. But Salamanca's, with its golden sandstone, is believed to be the fairest of them all. We say that this one in Salamanca is the most beautiful one in Spain. It's the queen of all the mini squares. And th this is Baroque? Yes, Baroque style. It was constructed in the 18th century. And we have here we have apartments, we have shops, restaurants. Offices famous for the stone. The, stone, the stone we have in Salamanca is a special sandstone. It's called Villa Mayor. Villa Mayor, Earth, right? <laughs> sandstone, and the quarry is just only five kilometer distance. And at the beginning, the stone is white, it's like a cheese, and then with the air it becomes stronger, and with the sun oxidizes. That's why we have this beautiful golden color. Golden color. So gold, the square, and ham. The and ham, ham. Of jamon. course. That's also very important in the city. A lot of people that are coming to Salamanca, they are coming only to eat ham. A city world famous for its ham is indeed a city after my own heart. There's a lot of ham. Yeah, we have different prices, uh, different kind of ham. All of them are a very cute ham, but the best way to know how it tastes is having a small degustation, a small tasting for us. Oh, we can do a tasting? Yes. And cheers from Salamanca. That's a small tasting? Yes, for us. Wow. <laughs> what do you think about it? Beautiful, isn't it? Delicious. Do you eat a lot of ham? Or yes. <laughs> Every day. Do all Spanish eat ham? Not all the Spanish, but most of them, yes. It's quite typical to have in your house the leg. Jamon, mm. and you cut every day a small portion for really? breakfast or have a lunch, wherever it is. The central market is where the locals come. It's not the cheapest, but Alicia assures me it is most certainly the best. And then there's the university, as grand in appearance as it is in reputation. So the university was built in, first built 1134? Yes, in the 12th, 18th, uh, 13th century. And still a big university today, still, isn't it? Uh, almost 40,000 students. 40,000 students? Yeah, all around the world. Almost a half, 17,000. They are foreign students. So right. we have all languages in the city. 